But when a student is being disruptive, in this case it was refusing to give up her cell phone to the teacher. So the student is being disruptive, but there is not a gun or a weapon or some sort of crime being committed. Is that not the role of the teacher anymore to deal with disruptive students? They're now calling police officers into classrooms for this? This is a, a long-term trend as well, the criminalization of school discipline. And this is something that has really taken over nationwide. Almost every school now has a police officer in it, even elementary schools. And you see even very young children being arrested for what I think people my age might think of more as a disciplinary infraction. Even, uh, you know, a couple of, of middle schoolers getting into a slap fight now might very likely end in an assault conviction and someone going to, you know, going to juvenile uh, jail uh, rather than, you know, so this, this being sent to the principal's office to think about what they did and cool down. So this is something that uh, uh, education uh, advocates have been talking about for years and years. I, I covered it um, nearly a decade ago uh, that I, I covered a case where uh, a high school junior had uh mooned his class out of the school bus window. So pulled his pants down. Pulled his pants down and was arrested for indecent exposure, put on a sex offender registry, Hmm. uh, and, you know, potentially has has his life ruined by what, you know, might have... In, in a more innocent age, been thought of as a childish prank. Yes. So there was so a lot there, of so mooning going this, on when we were kids. Uh, it, speak for yourself. But, uh, <laughs> but, <laughs> I'm not saying I took part. I didn't take part, but I certainly witnessed a lot of it. <laughs> but 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 I, so I do think that like there that there is this important conversation we're having about race and about justice and about discipline and about policing and all of that intersects with the the school issues. And then there's this parallel conversation going on about uh, over policing in schools and the increasing criminalization of school discipline. All right.